Blessed are the Get down. Come with me if you want to live. Hello and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks. Today we have a Starship Updates Easter special episode. Boy have I waited long to record and air this episode. Not only to include my favorite Terminator parody of all times, but also to finally announce a date for the long awaited and overdue orbital test flight of Starship. What are you doing? They were going to arrest you. I know. And crucify you. It is supposed to happen. What are you, a glutton for punishment? As of recording this episode, the SpaceX crew is currently working towards a launch rehearsal next week, followed by the first integrated flight test with Starship on April 17, pending of course the regulatory approval of the FAA. SpaceX stacked its giant Starship vehicle on Wednesday this week, lifting the Ship 24 upper stage prototype onto the Booster 7 first stage at the company's Starbase facility in South Texas. The lift and its aftermath were captured on video, which SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk shared via Twitter early Thursday morning. With this work largely completed, the focus now turns toward the final significant hurdle standing between SpaceX's massive rocket and a launch attempt, a license from the Federal Aviation Administration. While such regulatory matters are uncertain, a source said good progress is being made towards the issuance of such a license during the first two weeks of April. I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue of a metal endoskeleton. My mission is to protect you. I appreciate your concern. It also appears that NASA is reserving the use of its high-altitude WB-57 aircraft for observations of the Starship test flight in April. This is a further indication that the test flight is happening very soon because the aircraft is normally being reserved whenever special rocket launches take place. Eat this! You, you just don't get it, do you? You have been targeted for termination. I already told you, I'm supposed to die for the sins of mankind. So, all eyes are set on the FAA. I clearly feel that we are only weeks away from the orbital test flight. For those of you who are new to my channel, let's quickly recap how exactly the test flight will take place. After it launches, the super heavy rocket will fly from SpaceX's Starbase launch site eastwards over the Gulf of Mexico. For this test, the booster will not attempt a landing. After separation, the Starship upper vehicle is intended to reach orbit velocity before attempting a re-entry into Earth's atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. If all goes well, it will make a controlled descent and landing into the ocean just north of the Hawaiian Islands. Some of you might have asked why. And you cannot go around killing people. Why? Because it is one of God's commandments, thou shalt not kill. Why? Because it is a sin. Why? Because it's not nice. Why? Forgive him, Father. He's a robot from the future. Why, besides waiting for the FAA approval, it took SpaceX so long to finally aim for the orbital test flight in April 2023, almost two years after the latest Starship prototype test flight? Well, the answer is obvious. Because so many assets are clustered in a small area near the Gulf of Mexico, SpaceX really does not want to take the risk of destroying infrastructure it has spent more than a year building and testing. This would set the Starship launch campaign back months, at least, as the area is rebuilt. I'm programmed to protect you. Stop! Stop killing Judas! But he's going to betray you. I know. Look, look, I've got a lot on my mind right now, and you're really starting to stress me out, okay? It would also probably redouble regulatory concerns that were raised as part of the FAA's process to clear the South Texas location for experimental orbital launches. But now, let's all stay positive and say the launch is going to happen in April. In the meantime, I wish you all a happy Easter holiday and see you soon. Go Starship, go orbital test flight, ciao. Don't worry, he'll be back.